Welcome to our course, Lost Functions. So in this course, we are going to learn the different lost functions that we use for both regression and classification algorithms. So for this lesson, we're going to have the mean squared error, or what we call the quadratic loss or L2 loss, which is used for a regression algorithm. So without much ado, let's go to this one. So what is really a loss function? So before we go into that, I believe that there are a lot of questions right now going on in your mind. So are we going to just automatically use or choose and use a certain kind of loss function to understand how our model performs? The reason is that no, because there are actually three considerations that we need to take note of for us to be able to choose which algorithm to choose or which loss function to choose to check how our model performs well. So the first one is that what kind of machine learning algorithm that you are using. Of course, it could be a regression, it could be a classification. So depending on which one you use, also depends on what kind of loss function to use. Next one is that the ease of calculating the derivatives. In some cases, the calculation of derivatives can be very complicated. And if you are having an issue of time, it's because it could be that the deadline is very tight. So you may as well have to choose a certain loss function that is not calculation heavy as far as the derivative is concerned because it really takes much time. And in some cases, there would be errors when you do that. The next one is that, which may not always be the case, is the percentage of the outliers in your data set. So as what we have mentioned, Loss functions can be classified into two major categories. So we could have the regression. I believe you know that. So it is used to predict a continuous value. And also we have a classification which is used to predict output from a set of finite categorical values. So going back to the question, what is a loss function? Loss function evaluates how our certain or how a certain algorithm models the data. And also, when you have already the output of this loss function, the deviation can be too high, it can be high, it can be low, it can be very much low. So what one is really the best one? The lowest is always the best. So when the deviation is too high, it means to say that the loss function is also very large. What does that mean? It means to say that your model does not model the real data itself. So that the deviation from the predicted value and the real value is too high. But don't lose hope. It's because there is also a way for us to be able to optimize our model. So how to do that is we're going to use the optimization function. And it is used to reduce the error in prediction. So the first one is we have the mean squared error or the quadratic error or the loss Two or the L2. Mathematically, we do that by squaring first the real value and the predicted value. And then we get the summation, the sum total of all these values. And then we divide that by the number of the population or the sample. So it is concerned with the average magnitude of error, irrespective of their direction. So the direction here can be it could be up, it could be down. So it means to say, if we're going to have that in numbers, it could be positive, it could be negative. So irrespective of these directions, we always we are always concerned with the average magnitude of error. And we have here the challenge. And what is this? Predictions, which are far away from the actual values, are penalized heavily in comparison to less deviated predictions. So what would be the reason for this heavy penalty? The reason for this is that the square here. So when the value from the, predict, from the real value and the predicted value is too high, then when you square that, it becomes, again, very much high. So that's a kind of heavy for this particular point, which are too far from the regression line. With respect to that, it's not actually that um, very robust to use this kind of calculation. However, this kind is very easy to calculate our gradient. So because of this easy calculation, it is commonly used regression loss function. 
Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.